Good morning guys, you're joining me from my bathroom this morning. I am just kind of in the process of getting ready this morning. I thought I would start the vlog here today. I've not got anything, well in fact I say I've not got anything particularly planned for this video, but I kind of do. I've got a couple of things that I want to do and show you. So I'm going to show you, bring you up to speed of things with the house. You might be able to hear the, I was going to say drilling, it's not drilling, what are they doing? sanding it's the painters and decorators they're just like getting all the finishes of the walls right so we've got them in today i'm going to bring up speed with things with where we're at with the house um i also want to pop to m&s so i also ordered some bits online some clothes so i'll show you those bits um as well do a bit of a try on haul um what else i might have a homeware event that i might be going to so if i do i'll bring you along to that other than that you're just spending the day two days whatever this vlog ends up being um but yeah i'm just getting ready this morning i've just showered my hair it's like partly towel dried like all of this bit's still damp so it's a bit frizzy but i need to carry on drying the rest of my hair but um first i thought i'd just show you a bit of my routine morning routine I dip on a little bit of tanning drops within my moisturizer last night so i've got a little bit of color but i do want to actually fake tan today as well skincare wise i've already moisturized this morning and then i'm going to use my new products that i've been loving from skin and me so this is their brand new product i kept it in the box just to show you how it arrives but i did also have a sample for the last maybe two three weeks that i've used up so i've got the full size here to show you how it looks and oh my goodness love it so this is called the daily defense oil free sunscreen broad spectrum high protection against uvb and uva spf 50 this is 55 mils you can use it in the morning you cleanse hydrate and then protect and then my evening routine consists of cleansing treating which i use my daily doser um, i have talked about this before and this is for me the hero product it's amazing so essentially what skin and me is is it's a subscription service that you can sign up to it's cancelled any time so you're not locked in or anything but um you sign up you basically fill out a short questionnaire short survey and skincare professionals will tailor customize basically a formula suitable for your skin to target your specific skin concerns and yeah so this one is specific to me as you can tell it's got a really satisfying this is a new one actually i get them every month but this is oh, how the package looks and it's got this like kind of it's got this like daily clicker system when you turn it it has a really satisfying click and it just gets out the exact amount of products that you need for your skin so yeah in the night or my nighttime routine i will cleanse my skin like take off all my makeup cleanse and then use this wait 10 minutes brush my teeth go get pjs on and then come back and moisturize for the night so yeah that I already know I love and I've talked to you guys about before. The sun is really powerful right now. It's probably a good opportunity to show you a bit of a close-up of my skin actually and my specific areas that I wanted to target with Skin and Me and the formula for my daily doses. So fine lines and wrinkles is a concern. I'm getting a bit older, so you know, it's an area that I want to just take care of and also i mentioned skin texture i love a radiant kind of glowy hydrated complexion so yeah that is what my skin is looking like close up i've talked about before my channel but i've started um i would say of the last i want to say five to six months been really religious with using an spf 50 every single day whether i'm wearing makeup or not and yeah so this one for the last few weeks i've been trying out the sample size and i've also started using this full size one but that's how it looks and it's honestly just so important to start protecting your skin from a young age and it, i mean we look at this weather in england and think i don't need spf or i want to get a tan it's so important to um help minimize fine lines and wrinkles sun damage to just protect your face we can always use a bit of tan from the bottle if we want a bit of color um but i just am so religious now with my spf 50 and it's actually a formula 
that I really enjoy putting on my face. It doesn't feel cakey or anything like that. It's nice and like sucks straight into your skin. Really easy to apply and kind of sets quite a nice base for makeup as well. And you know what, even without makeup, if I'm having a makeup free day, it's like a nice sheen that it adds to your skin. It's quite uh, liquidy, if you can see there. It's not, like I say, it's not too sticky and cakey like a lot of sun creams can be. I would always get an SPF 50 specific to the face. So the fact that I already use Skin Me with the daily dose, it's just nice to use this um, brand in addition. They do also have cleanser as well and moisturizer if you wanted to get the full range. But yeah, I just rub it into my hands, kind of pat it into my skin and just make sure that all my skin is protected. And then any excess product, I just kind of like pat down my neck as well because that's one area that I definitely, as a youth, <laughs> Have not taken care of you know i've moisturized my face when i was younger but i never took it down my neck so now i always just take product down my neck as well so yeah you see the nice kind of dewy finish dewy hydrated look that it gives to the skin the daily dose that you can actually get for just 4.99 for your first month with my code so i'll leave it on screen but it's just freya f SPF and that will get you your first daily dose for $4.99 and you will also get a free sample of the new daily defense oil free SPF 50 sunscreen. If you are already a Skin and Me member you just have to log on to your account and click the add to box to secure your free sunscreen trial. We are thinking about booking some kind of sunny getaway soon so when we do and when I use my SPF I'll probably be makeup free on holiday so i'll just reapply this during the day to maintain that protection especially after like if you do a workout you sweat it off or swimming like you get out of the pool you dry your face with your towel always important to reapply so yeah i just wanted to mention this and also thanks gonna me for kind of partnering with me on today's video don't forget to check out via the link in my description box skin and me and also use that code Tom has very kindly got me a Costa coffee for the morning so I'm going to finish drinking this finish getting ready for the day and uh, yeah we'll see where the day takes us back in the same spot same lighting and just show you what my skin looks like with makeup on after using the skin of me daily doser for it's quite a while now i would say my skin texture has improved i'm a lot more radiant and glowy which is what i like to see and also obviously the new spf 50 is just making sure that my skin is nice and protected are we ready for this guys 18 degrees the car says it's hot in the car though um look at me just out in a t-shirt don't mind me just enjoying the sunshine i'm gonna go to m &S. i need to pick up some food i need to get some lunch it's half 12 so it's kind of dangerous doing a food shop whilst you're hungry and also don't think that i do an m s food shop every time i go food shopping that's not the case it's just the fact that i thought well I'm doing a bit of an M&S haul within today's video. I've got one more parcel en route, so that should be home when I get back. And uh, when it is, I'll show you all the clothes and stuff that I got, but I thought, well, it's an excuse just to just to check what else is in store, if there is anything that I see, and also, like, whilst I'm there, get a little bit of a food shop in. So, I'm gonna try and get a salad for today's lunch. Oh, gosh, it's hot. <laughs> me in the heat do not do well they do like this avocado feta one that i talk about and love so um tom's also 
playing cricket tonight so he won't be back till late so he's not eating dinner with me so i might pick myself up a nice dinner treat as well whilst i'm there but anyway let's get this air conditioning on let's get to the shops and let's cool down <laughs> Should learn that there is absolutely zero space in this car to vlog but i never do so i've got myself some dinner for this evening i also popped in to tesco's and got some of these tuna salads which i love i never see this one the moroccan tuna bulgur wheat salad and it's my favorite one so when i saw that got a few of them well tonight i've got myself one of these mini shepherd's pies and then i've got a big veg so i'm like filling up on health and then one of their garlic breads as well to munch on whether or not i'll have that tonight i'm not sure but you just pop in the freezer anyway honestly their garlic breads are delicious so good and so fresh um even though they're frozen but it's their bread oh, just just try that they do them in like a big like a sour, is it sourdough? I don't know, like a a big bloomer. That's the word. And then I grab myself one of these chicken Caesar wraps from the Fresh Counters. These are delicious. She's chunky. I will say that. Probably not the most healthy, but um, they are so, so good. I kind of bought one on a whim once when I went in to... Um, to grab some food i can't remember what it was but tom was with me and he sat in the car and he said just grab me like a wrap or something and when i saw them got one of them for him tried it and it was so good so now every time i go in around lunchtime, I grab one of these i was gonna go for the salad they didn't have them um so i just figured i'd get myself a wrap you can see it's a wrap tom has actually just messaged saying he's home and he's bought me a blondie so all the treats tonight uh and yeah yummy lunch as well spoiled with food today i feel like i'm gonna eat this now no one else like eating in the car i just can like people watch in the car park while i eat my lunch it's like entertainment um if i can get into it yeah i'm gonna eat this and then head back and i did pick up a few or i should say a couple two more clothing items from m &S. so i've not tried them on i don't know how they'll fit but we'll do a whole try on of all the clothes that i've ordered recently from m s because honestly m s clothing at the minute so good oh, look at that. <laughs> they've not cut it i swear they usually cut it never mind okay i think it's about time that i show you some house updates now so i'm going to take you downstairs just kind of like first thing to note we've had this bit filled and this bit is ready for painting we're going to repaint the upstairs corridor part just so that it ties in and matches with the white that we've gone for for down here which is in lick white seven white oh seven got the tiles ready to tile the porchway which is going to be done at some point this week because we're getting delivery of our new front door which is going to be going here we're going to have an external porch and this old front door is going so we're not going to have that anymore and this bit we're just going to have the new tiles paint all this brick white and then we've had this ceiling rendered and i've got a little porch light for in here for um dunelm it's called london very excited for a nice wide door we've gone for just a single door and it's quite a wide space so it's going to be quite dramatic entrance so we're going to keep that bit like open and empty and i think i'm going to get a console table for here but anyway moving into this room we've had all these kind of like stats fitted as well moving into this room this has kind of been the base for the joiners and everything working from in this space he's fitted all of the skirts the sills have all been fitted i can't remember where i last left you to be honest with you but um yeah skirts have been done sills have been fitted we've had joe leblinds come measure for the shutters which take about six weeks and they're the ones that we had upstairs so that they can match in nicely so they are probably about four weeks off now three or four weeks off being delivered we have also had the shutters measured for those two windows as well with it all being open so the mist coat has gone on in here it is going to be painted black 
back in here. And then this has probably been the biggest, most exciting project that we've been working on. And this is, I might do a full video on it one day, which I probably definitely will. I've been taking video clips of the process and everything, but essentially this is an Ikea hack. These are the Billy bookcases. We've got four of them. We've spaced them out. We've popped them on like feet essentially to the height of the skirting board so that the first shelf is level with the skirting board. Just need to fill that gap in there. But yeah, so we've done that. And then in, with MDF, we've built um, our own doors, which I've also bought moldings for just so that it kind of like looks paneled again for more of like a traditional look. And then we put the MDF panels in the middle of the bookcases as well to create a space for lighting. So we've got some lights to go on there from Jim Lawrence. Then we're gonna get a nice deep coving from here as well. And this will all, well, the full room is gonna be painted black. Skirts and arcs are gonna be white apart from on this wall so that it kind of looks bespoke, built in and everything. The coving and the skirting board just on this wall essentially so that it looks part of the bookcase, is also gonna be in black. And then I would love at some point in the future to have a rail fitted here with a ladder, but I was having a look and they are quite expensive. So even if temporarily for now we do without, because it is just really purely for aesthetics, um, and then add it at a later date, then maybe we'll do that. But for now, this is what the bookcase is looking like. I'm so happy, I cannot wait to style this space up. Everyone keeps on saying to me, you're gonna have to buy a lot of books, but I'm kind of envisaging more styling. And also I do have loads of coffee table books that are gonna look beautiful in here. I've perfectly measured out some of my biggest coffee table books that fit in perfectly. Any extra large ones bigger than that, I can lie them flat and have them as a bit of a feature with maybe a, I don't know, photo frame on, little vase, candle, whatever, but yeah. I cannot wait for styling these spaces. In here, it's just obviously a little cupboard. We've had that black pipe you can see along the bottom there. That is the waste going from this toilet from the downstairs loo to the outside wall. So what our joiner is gonna do is build in like a little box shelf there. Not shelf, like a boxed seat and then some shelving in there. And we're probably thinking we could do with some more shoe storage. So yeah, we're thinking it might be quite handy for us to have somewhere to store our shoes. Not like our everyday shoes, but you know, just all the excess shoes. So that's what we're thinking maybe for that cupboard. Um, and then in here, we're probably just gonna have a couple of armchairs, coffee table, so it's kind of like a reading nook. And then in here, sofa, love seat or armchair in there. But I've not ordered them yet. I kind of want to just live in the space for a bit and kind of get a feel for the room once the TV's up, the lights are all up, the shutters, and we can kind of like slowly take our time with finding furniture for in here. Whereas in here, I have already ordered a sofa, so at least we're gonna have somewhere to sit. So all throughout here, again, white 07 from Lick we've gone for, and this is nearly finished now. The majority of this section's finished, because we wanted it finished in time for this beauty to be fitted. Um, but there's just a couple of things, like he just needs to finish off those cupboard doors and shelves for the media wall. But yes, I know it's looking very white and clinical, but once we've got the furniture in, the sofa in, the kind of textures, we're gonna have a big tining, <laughs> tining? dining table run along here, maybe cabinetry over there, we've got piano going over there. So it's, it's going to look all styled up with lots of different colors and textures. And yeah, so this all white space, and obviously a lot of that is gonna be black with it being TV, sound bar. These shelves are gonna be styled up. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out because it does look very white at the minute. But anyway, we've had our TVs delivered. This is the one going on in the media wall in here, 65 inch we've gone, and then 55 for above the fireplace in the other room. Um, LG OLED, I kind of leave the tech up to Tom if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't really know what I'm doing, but we've got sound bar for in here, and then we've also got Sonos speakers going in here and here, so it's kind of a bit of a surround in this area, so that this living space is a bit more contained. The sofa as well that I've ordered from Sofa Club, if you imagine it's gonna, it's like a three-seater facing the TV with a footstool and then along the back of the sofa, I'm gonna have a console just so that it kind of, again, divides the two spaces and you're not left just seeing the back of the sofa. That was one of your guys' suggestions, so thank you for that. I loved that idea. I'm definitely gonna do that. 
And then in here, over here, where we're thinking outside, we might have some kind of bistro set that we might buy so we can sit and have our morning breakfast and coffee out here. It's lovely in the morning, it gets all the sunlight. It is evening now, so this is only a little bit left, but yeah, throughout the most of the day, we get sunlight on here. You might be able to tell we've had the walls rendered as well, just internally. So from this view, you can see the render but externally on the other side of the wall, whereby we've not finished the garden yet, that is not rendered because we don't want it to just get like dirty and grimy at the bottom. We might as well do that external part once the garden is all finished. It might be a bit breezy out here, but I'll come out and show you this side to the wall as well, which has obviously been rendered. And we've got three wall lights to go up here, which I need to buy. I did buy some from Dunnell, but I think I'm going to take them back because I'm not 100% sure on them. I want more of like a lantern style light. I've got a little plant pot for an olive tree to go there. And then, yeah, this is what it's looking like. I've just gone for white render. Oh, and then we've got security camera to go up here. We've had some more added to the front of the house as well already. And the quality is so good. So anyway, the beauty, which is covered up right now of the Gemini worktops that we ordered I am so in love with they are in Calcutta silver superior absolutely obsessed this is the sample that we've had what feels like a lifetime now so that is the one that we've gone for and there was a slight issue with the shelf obviously you can see where the brackets are that's where the shelf goes and we've had this design of like the sink tall splashback into a small shelf. There were some marks under it, so they decided they weren't gonna bring it in and fit it. They wanted to remanufacture it. So that's gonna be here in like another week or so, but it's not stopped us, so it's not, you know, the end of the world. We've got some lights to go up here from Jim Lawrence, the same ones that we're having on the bookcase, just like little antique brass sconces. We've had our hot tap fitted. Instant boiling water feels like such a luxury. This is from Kuka and we've gone for the antique brass finish and I just think it's gorgeous. Really, really nice. And then sink is all in working order. Dishwashers are in working order now as well. So we've got a kitchen that is usable. It's obviously just very much protected at the minute as is the floor because of the painter. So we just kind of want to keep it protected until he's out of here. And then once the painting is done, we'll then obviously be able to start using our kitchen. It's looking a bit dusty, but we've got our hob installed. Having a slight issue with this extraction and how we work it, but that's another story for another day. And then we've got our American style fridge freezer fitted. Now, the, this was a challenge to find, if I'm being completely honest with you, because we essentially wanted one to fit this space, which meant a taller fridge freezer. Generally, fridge freezers come in like two different heights, these American ones. This is the taller one, which we have the space for, so we thought we might as well go for the taller one, um, especially with the tall ceilings. We felt like a shorter one would look a bit silly, especially with a gap above it. So we've gone for this height but that we really struggled to find this height fridge freezer that had a fridge section up top and freezer section up uh, down the bottom because we wanted an ice machine as well most of them were freezer fridge and i just really liked the idea of having the fridge on top i think practically to be able to see everything and have the fridge section all at the top like this i just thought was far better so yeah, this is the only one that we could find that had ice. It's basically got like, if I open this, indoor ice. There's like, it had to be plumbed in this uh, fridge freezer. So we had all the plumber arranged for that before the kitchen was even fitted. So it's gonna ge generate and create ice in here, which you can actually take this ice bin out if you need to. And then another thing that, and then obviously you've got your ice and water in there and all the different temperatures and everything. Another thing I love about this are all the different like food care zone, fresh zone, all the different compartments. And then with this freezer section at the bottom, you have the flexibility of making this a fridge if you prefer, or just one of them a fridge. Looks like there's marks and stuff on it, but we haven't taken the uh, protector film off yet. We feel like we might as well just keep it on for as long as possible. And then in here, he's currently on the, he's about to do the second and final coat of the lick paint in here. We had 
a larder unit added for in here we had the worktop fitted in here as well so that we're going to have a coffee machine which we've just ordered one from sage that's going to go in there and then all of this worktop obviously carries on with a small splashback it's all the same worktop um, but yeah we think that we'll probably have this open quite a bit to be able to make coffees and stuff and have all of these spice racks with like different coffees in and syrups and whatever but honestly i cannot wait to start that space up so we had double sockets two double sockets fitted in there for coffee machines milk frothers and espresso machines we've just got plenty of option to be able to plug lots in there maybe even toaster put in there but if not we'll put it over over here haven't really done anything with the downstairs loo even though we've got everything for it we've just waited on the painter finishing the other spaces and then we've got these panels that we got from home base that need to be fit along the wall so join needs to do that then the plumber can come back and fit all of the sink and toilet and everything and then in here we are going to be painting it in green Oh, I can't remember the name of the colour of the paint. Is it in here? No, I think it's green 16 that's going to go in here. I was going to do wallpaper on the top half and I might still do that. But temporarily, we've got plenty of green paint. So I've just said to the painter that once the panels are on and the trim and everything, to just do the full lot in the same green. And then we can always add the paper to the set, like the top half at a later date. That's where it's kind of taken us. We're also going to get the painter to stand back and restore our original staircase i if i were to order one i'd literally order this so there's no point in ordering one it is going to take a lot of work though to sand it back and to be honest with you i don't mind any little like knots and grooves and like bits that are chipped out i kind of think it adds texture and character and quite like it but he is going to sand it back to the best of his ability strip it sand it and then we're going to paint it all black the entire staircase going all the way up to the top floor so yeah it's going to be pretty bold we've also got the same carpet that we've got upstairs ready to lay on this stretch of staircase so yeah it's all coming together and then joiner just needs to finish off that skirting as well and then that'll be good to paint as well i'm also thinking of because we've got paneling upstairs like half paneling of bringing it down this staircase and for now, just ending it there, but what we might do in future is also add it along here. But I am thinking about potentially painting the lower half as well as the corridor upstairs. Painting all of the lower half panelling, switching it out so that it's not white anymore because it does mark easily white. And going up and down stairs and stuff, like, as you can tell, it does get marks. I'm thinking about doing the bottom half in like an oatmeal kind of dark beige kind of colour. So that's food for thought we're thinking about that but if the painter is doing that anyway painting all of this corridor upstairs again because it needs a fresh coat anyway then yes food for thought it's potentially an idea that i think would look nice and then obviously it's going to be black in here as well also these doors we ordered some from leader doors they're actually in here those ones i've ordered them the wrong size when or do i ever order anything the right size with this renovation so I've ordered the right dimensions apart from the depth. These are fire doors and they're 44. We have had these casings made to be the same as upstairs doors, which are only 35 deep. So these we're gonna switch out for the same doors that we've got upstairs. However, they don't do them in white anymore. They only do them primed in black. So I think what we're gonna have to do is either have them black, or potentially paint them white, even though they've got a black primer on, which will be a bit of a pain, but it is what it is. Oh, just while I'm in here, these are the Lick paints. So this is the green shade that we've gone for. It's very similar to the green on our island, a bit lighter, but green 19. Okay, let's get into a little M&S haul, shall we? This is the first item that I actually picked up today in store, and I love it. This dress is so good. Perfect for summer, I would say, because it's actually really lightweight. It's kind of pricey. I mean, I always just compare prices to the likes of like Primark, Zara even. I suppose it's on a par with Zara. It's, what would you pay? What would you pay for this dress? It's a beautiful fabric. Lovely kind of cut out keyhole detail at the back and tie. Nice maxi, super soft, super comfortable. It was 45 pounds. So yeah, I am gonna be really ruthless with this haul. I am gonna say that with all, with all of the items that I've ordered, 
I definitely don't need it everything. However, this dress I am gonna keep. Next thing, and the only other thing that I picked up whilst I was in store was this top. And the smallest size they had was a 14, so I went with it. 25 pounds this one is and again the fabric is just beautiful so it's like a knit but like a toweling knit really lightweight so it's not going to be like hot i do think it's maybe a little bit i don't know actually if you just want a boxier fit then it's fine um, and i've just paired it with these trousers which are um the tapered ankle grazer got these in a size 10 which is fine they do fit however they're in the short so they are a little bit cropped and i don't know if they're maybe a bit too cropped so i'm going to send these back just purely on fit so like i'm having a blue moment i just seem to be gravitating towards this kind of a blue this blue and sage green are just like my go-to's in terms of actual colors anyway this dress is actually classes beachwear it's 29.50 i got it in a size 12 i'm glad i got a 12 because this like shared fabric is quite tight so that's the only thing i think with this dress although it's classed as beach wear i just don't think it needs to be a beach dress at all i think you could definitely just wear this like summer's day nice sandals like not going to the beach the straps are actually detachable or you could just tuck them in so like tanning purposes it's ideal this next set is actually from nobody's child on mns i didn't realize that they actually sell different brands so it is more premium it's more expensive but, oh, I've got my necklace trapped. Um, but yeah, gorgeous. I'm loving this whole waistcoat trend that's going around at the minute. I just think it looks, it's kind of like a nice looking outfit without needing to wear too much, like having to like put a blazer on or something to look smart, especially when it gets really hot. And I love the shorts that come with it. I like the length. The only thing is these are a 12 and they don't fit. I've just had to clip them at the back so that they don't pull down. They are quite a lot bigger than what I thought they would be. Um, really nice pockets, nice and floaty at the bottom. I'll leave links to all of these below just for pricing and everything, just so I don't get it wrong. Okay, this is the next outfit that I picked up. Both the top and the shorts I got in a 12. Again, these shorts are from Nobody's Child, so they're a bit more premium, a bit more expensive, and honestly, the quality in the fabric is lovely. I still probably could have done with a 10, um, but because it's a drawstring waist, sorry if i keep looking over here i'm looking at it in the mirror um because drawstring waist you can really tie it in so it's not too bad to be honest with you they are a little on the short side for me but apart from that just a nice lightweight fabric for summer just paired it with this stripy basic tee i do have a striped tee already but the one that i've got which is from primark is quite oversized and quite long this one's a nice length to be able to just tuck into white shorts like this so i've kept this striped tee on and paired it with these beautiful wide leg trousers i actually saw my friend Nina wear these on her Instagram and I was like yes they're gorgeous so you can obviously wear a different belt with them uh, this is the belt that it comes with just plain and simple white and nice and thick as well which I love thick waist you know so you can wear like a thicker belt also I just feel like it's kind of a more modern look to have that thicker band here anyway um really nice kind of like turned up at the bottom as well if you can see that these are in the regular length they do do short and long as well i feel like regular on me is just about right i feel like when i wear white trousers like this people who have kids always go she clearly doesn't have kids but now i've got a golden retriever i also kind of get that because i always think to myself when am i going to wear this because when am i not with him so if i'm going to like town or something and i'm not taking him or if we're going basically wherever he's not going i can wear these uh because i can just imagine one paw that he puts on my leg and i'm like oh no well that's it the trousers are ruined they are in a size 10 and i would say true to size with these if you're in between size down because i've even got a little bit of maneuvering for food baby but you know uh, yeah, I've got another pair of trousers actually that I want to share with you. So this other pair are a little bit, they're a little bit different fabric, they're a little bit thicker. And so I could wear these like all year round, I think. They've still got that wide, like thick belt loop things going on, which I like. Um, but yeah, they're, they're just like a kind of, they're not as flowy. And also I got these in a 10 short. So if you're wanting to wear them casually like this with flats, then probably go for the shorter option if you're about the same height as me i feel like if i was a bit less curvy i was more straight up and down or bigger on the top half then maybe they'd be nice but i don't know if because they're quite like that they're not the most flattering 
Okay, I've just kind of like basically got the t-shirt like this and just tucked it under my bra just to keep it more of like a cropped because this skirt is quite sheer as much as I love it and I love the idea of it, this whole plisé style skirt, I just think it's so cute. It's not the best fit on me, this is a size 10 and there's quite a lot of like waist movement and I don't know if, if I was going to wear a skirt like this, I'd prefer it as a stretchier waistband maybe. Um, but yeah, and also the length of it, it's very much a maxi. I think this looks better as like more of a mid-axi. So I think I will return this, but I had such high hopes for this one and I'm still on the hunt for a nice please a skirt like this that's affordable because I just think it can make an outfit look really nice. This is me totally jumping on a trend here that I had no idea if I was gonna like or not. Denim midi skirts, what do we think? Are we liking them, are we not? If I'm being completely honest with you, I see them on other girls and I think, oh yeah, she looks cool, but I would never wear it. Now that I've got it, I do kind of get it, I do quite like it. I just can't help but think back to my geography school teacher who used to always wear a denim midi skirt and we used to think, oh God, she has no fashion sense. And now look at us rocking denim mini skirts. So I just don't know if I can get that out of my head. I like it more than I thought I would. I thought I would get it and go, no, it's a trend, it's not for me. And now I'm not so sure. Now I think I like it. Wait, this is in a size at UK 10. Um, it's a little bit big around my waist actually, I will say that, so I feel like I'd either belt it or size down, but then it'd probably be too tight around here, so no, probably stick with a size 10 but belt it. This one I'd say is more me, it's like a culotte style loose fit uh, jumpsuit, which is from the Good Move, which I think is like their workout type section. The material of it is super soft, I don't even know the material, but is it like tanny cell or something? I don't know, let me see. I feel like there's a name for it. Responsibly produced modal rich, modal. It's breathable, quick dry and moisture wicking, which is good for in the heat so that you don't get all sweaty. And um, so that gives me a bit of confidence because this color, I feel like a charcoal gray type color could easily show up, sweat marks if you get a bit hot. But I feel like because it's part of that good move uh, workout range that it's okay for that. So yeah, just again, the Birkenstocks, very simple, um, just like summery, round the house, comfy, getting stuff done, whilst also like if you wanted to pop out, you feel like very well put together with it just being one item, super easy, grab from the wardrobe. I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of this one, so I feel like I'm gonna keep this one. So this dress is beautiful. It's linen rich, which tells me it's not 100% linen, but it's also from the beachwear section, and yet again, I definitely don't think it's just a beach dress. I think just in summer, summer's day dress is just lovely to wear like a nice loose fit, so it's not tight and uncomfortable when it is hot. God, I sound like a grandma, but honestly, that is just how I deal with the heat is just have loose fabric that's breathable, that doesn't touch me, or else I'm conscious and sweating. So yeah, it's just a really nice adjustable straps as well, so you can adjust it to your body length. Actually, I probably need to make these a little bit longer, but yeah, really nice color as well. I think they might have had either this in a black or something very similar in a black. I remember seeing it in store, um, but this is a size 10 and there's plenty of fabric so it's more just the fit up here i feel and to be honest with you i could probably mm, i was going to say sized up to a 12 but no probably a 10 is probably best for me uh, yeah really nice so i've got two more dresses to try on i really love this one this is again lightweight comfortable and floaty which is perfect it's only 35 pounds as well this one which for m s for like a full outfit summer's dress I think is really reasonable and yeah it's got adjustable straps again it's also got the shared fabric on this one so it's a bit more um comfortable in terms of that stretch that it's got last and final dress we've got a stripe number now i did get this one in the kind of sage greeny color but they do have it in black as well i'll try it on so you can see what it looks like on um but i got it in a medium this one's a 10 if i said i can't remember i feel like this dress on my body shape just isn't flattering it kind of clings to this area which is my biggest part and then just 
so it just makes this bit look boxier whereas if I like had it cinched in with like a belt or something I think it would make a big difference so I feel like I'm going to leave this one I'm going to send it back um, but if you do like just straight up and down dress I think it's really nice I like the slit on the leg as well good like, little beach dress kind of like that kind of crochet vibes um, that I'm seeing a lot in stores but yeah it's really pretty I also think I would prefer the black striped one but they didn't have my size and now that I've tried it on I feel like it's just not the most flattering on me. I could, like I said, I could maybe belt it. Um, but then I don't know, I don't know if I'd wear it to be honest with you, because it's a knit dress as so well, it's gonna be quite warm. Um, so I'm, I just need to send something back. So this is going back. So that guys is gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. I'm just gonna shut this window because that cold air is starting to creep in that evening cold air but anyway thank you so much for spending the day with me i hope you feel up to speed with things with the house as well and where we are at and yeah i feel like all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching thank you once again to skin and me for very kindly working with me on today's video and of course for giving me the amazing offer that i am able to give to you guys so if you want to try skin and me out you can get your first daily doser for just £4.99 and also you'll get a free sample of the new SPF which you can try out and see how you get on with it. I absolutely have been loving it. All you need to do is click via the link in my description box that I will leave for you and use the discount code Freya F. SPF. I know you guys are going to love it just as much as I do. So thanks to them. Thank you to you guys for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.